Yeah, maybe a little bit. Um, I'll never play him again. So, I know I'm 2-2 two two against Northwestern. One of those things I think we can play. But it just feels good to win. They are a team that we struggled with in the past. So. I guess you could say it feels actually good. And then how about, you know, finishing a game where you guys have led every game at halftime, and this time they came back on you, but this time you guys were able to finish. What this will do for this team long term for us this year is confidence. I think it gives us confidence, but I don't necessarily think that it wasn't confidence we didn't already have ourselves. It's just a matter of going out and feeling we did that. Today. That's big. That's what we're trying to do. But next week's going to be a different game. And who knows what the situation is going to be. But if we find ourselves in a situation where maybe we have to come back and we have to hold, we know we've done it. Else from Mark. Feel, the feeling for you after the last play and stop playing for games over, can you kind of put into words as a senior what that feeling meant? Um, just elation, relief, excitement, all those things wrapped in one. Just some euphoria. I mean, you saw everybody running around. <laughs> like they all won the lottery, so it was just an awesome feeling. What was your vantage point on the fumble recovery you had? I mean, what did you see happen? I mean, it was, it was kind of fumble pitch. And it's just kind of a weird thing. It looked like you know the running back had the ball high and tight, like you always, like you always coach it. But Hitch came in and really hit the guy square. And I don't know. Sometimes you just lose the ball. You know, being a former running back, I gotta know how that stuff goes. And I was outside the quarter formation coming in, and you know, it just kind of landed right in my lap. So it, can't really ask for it any more than that. Sometimes those plays only last a second or two, but they seem like they last a minute. Um, you know, did it feel like it was almost slow motion when you saw the ball come yeah. out? And... Yeah, that's how things sometimes wham bam plays like that. You sort of feel like they're slow motion when you're playing. Do you feel like the defense took some big steps forward today? Uh, I don't know. I don't think it was necessarily our best game. But I was proud of the way that guys overcame some individual mistakes. Mental mistakes, physical mistakes, physical mistakes. It takes 11 guys, 11 plus guys to do that. So I'm just proud of the way we got it. Well, Christian was moving the ball pretty well in the second half. What was the difference in the over? Was it just emotion at that point? I don't know. Um, I thought they moved the ball. One could argue they moved the ball pretty well for three quarters, you know, the second quarter, third, and fourth. But they've got a good offense. They've always been a good offensive team. I suppose the difference was you know, when we needed it, we had it. I can't necessarily tell you why. That's sort of the mystery of football. You added the Raider package. At least that's what Nate said. You guys call it. What? How? What went into the design for having it for this week, and how effective do you feel that that was in terms of what you were wanting to do against King Coulter? I'm not going to talk about what went okay. into the design just because okay. you know, that's competitive stuff, and mm -hmm. I don't know if Nate should be saying those things, but um, it's a package we've had for a while, mm -hmm. and there's various play calls throughout, and we felt like it would give us a chance to win against Northwestern, so that's why the coaches decided to do that. It was interesting that it would be this week and not last week with Braxton Miller. What was the difference been? Implementing against Northwestern rather than Ohio State. I can't comment. It's just probably a question better for Coach Ferris.